sometimes your opponent can do the work for you. As you can see, Kel Brook was moving forward. He shot a jab out there. Crawford timed it over the top with a nice, short, I'm going to say jab. By that clash of heads. Here we go again. <laughs> And Kelbrook looks like he is still a little bit out of it. Ken Crawford in the show in round four. I think it was a right hook as Jab. Like a right hook. Right on the money. Right on the button. And you see the legs right there of Brooke as he wobbled back to that corner. Nice finish up right here combination from Terrence Bud Crawford. You know, sometimes your opponent can do the work for you. As you can see, Kel Brook was moving forward. He shot a jab out there. Crawford timed it over the top with a nice, short, I would say jab, hook, jab, that's, hook type. That's the first knockdown. Remember, the ropes held him up. Boom. And you know, that shot wasn't even on the chin. That shot was right on the eye. And it had that type of effect on Kel Brook. That shows you what type of devastating punching power Terrence Bud Crawford possesses. And then how he finishes. And Dre, he gets that look in his eyes. At this point, the fight was as good as done because Terrence Crawford is one of the best finishers in the game. You can't be hurt like that against Crawford, especially Stars. knowing that he had a slow start. He wants to come in here and prove a point and remind everybody why he's atop that list, and that's how you do it. Once again, at your point, Tim, it's not a three or four round fight. It's a 12 round fight or less. And I wanted to see the reaction from Kell Brook once Terrence Crawford landed a clean shot and we got our answer. And Terrence finished the fight like he typically does when he gets a fighter hurt. In brutal fashion, Tony Weeks got in there just in time because things were about to get ugly.